A truly bizarre and grim discovery at a Portland school. A volunteer is dismissed after getting caught storing the bodies of her dead pets in a freezer at Ockley Green Middle School in North Portland. K2, Bob High explains. What a janitor found stored inside this portable. They're frozen to a big block. That's really weird. Put some people on edge. Yeah, what if a kid found it? I don't know if they would. I mean, or they, or the freezer, you know, the power goes out and it defrosts, and yeah, that's, yeah, not good. What was she doing it for? To, just to keep them around. Just to hang out with them and look at them? Yeah, that's weird. Inside a freezer in that portable, a woman who was a longtime volunteer at the school and apparently stored the bodies of six dead cats, a couple of dead goldfish, a hamster, a gerbil, a lizard, even a spider, all wrapped up in plastic bags. A janitor cleaning the building in July, getting it ready for classrooms again, found the frozen animals. The volunteer wasn't cited because the animals died naturally. A much more extreme case involved Miriam Sakowitz in Washington County as recently as 2009. At one point, she kept more than 150 live rabbits, but also stored dozens of dead ones in a freezer, too. I think it's also medical issues. Psychologist Ron Turco talked about that case then, but he believes the volunteer who stored her pet's frozen bodies at school isn't nearly as disturbed or dangerous, just lonely. And the animals are in a sense with her and she takes comfort from them. It's odd, I think it's peculiar, but it's nothing that I would be alarmed about. The school isn't sure how long those dead animals were in that freezer for the past couple of years. Those portables were mostly used for storage. In North Portland, Bob High. K2 News.